Automation is the name of the game today, and what we're going to be looking at is integrating software like Make into Vertex AI to automate some of our tasks using the power of large language models. This is a no-code application, and it's a really simple interface that will allow you to build automations really quickly and really seamlessly. So if you enjoy this video, like, subscribe, look at all the links below, and let's get going. Right, so what we're going to be looking at today is make.com and um, all links will be down in the description if you'd like to get um, going with it. So what make is, is really just a no code automation tooling software from um, the good folk at make.com. And what you basically get is a environment and a canvas to connect your software and your applications to workflows. So you can automate things like uh, calendar invites, you can automate responses, you can automate emails, and you can also start doing more advanced things like putting in data and data connections. Um, so today what we're going to be doing is just having a look through what um, uh, some scenarios from Make, and um, we're going to look at ultimately connecting up to Gemini. So if you haven't already, get started for free and sign up. Um, I've already done that, so I won't go through that. It's really simple, straightforward, but I'm just going to log in over here and sign in. All right, choose your account. So once you've signed in, you're going to be presented with a dashboard very similar to this. So what we're going to basically look at doing is um, having a look at the canvas. Let's just go to subscription and um, have a look at the options that are available to you. So you can have the free, the core or the pro. I'm using the pro at the moment. I've just done the trial version of it and it seems to be really good. Uh, so all the um, demonstrations on this is basically using the pro features. So if you um, want to go log in, um, the links are all down below. We've got some more options as well on the left hand side over here. You can add um, devices, data stores, etc. And um, the next thing you can look at is some templates. All right. So if you're not sure where to start or how to start, here's a whole range of templates that you can look at doing. Um, but what we're going to look at today is Vertex AI and see if there's any templates here. Um, let's have a look. And there are no public templates for how to connect to Vertex AI. All right, so this is obviously uh, something that we're going to be creating and I'll try publish mine into public as well. All right, so let's go to our scenarios on the left hand side. And these are all the scenarios that you basically have that you've built. So as you can see, I've created two, but let's look at this one. All right, so the scenario that we have over here is um, I want to try and get incoming emails and ultimately connect it up to my mailbox, which is this one over here. And I want to use Google Vertex AI, which is uh, using the Gemini Pro and Flash models. And then I want to ultimately take the outputs from Gemini and reformat them into a reply email for my team members. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is have a look at the email that's come in. And the email that's come in is, I've just sent this email to myself saying, make a video on make and show me the steps. All right, here's what a sample would look like. So here's the summary of the email and here's the recommended response. So I want to basically get the Gemini Vertex to respond for me to save some of my time. All right. Um, and it'll basically, I just copy and paste that or just forward that on to the person who sent it to me and ultimately save a bit of time in that space. What we're going to do now is actually create this scenario step by step and I'll walk you through how to go about doing it. So what you can do now is go back to our scenarios. Click on create a new scenario. You'll be presented with the canvas very similar to this. And um, there's a big plus sign. And then on the bottom is your run and toolbar and um, items that you can use for your configurations. Um, all right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to click on the big plus sign to try and connect up to our email. So a really intuitive interface, really made simple by these good folks. So let's just click on that and we type in email at the bottom over there and just say we want to get we want to do the watch emails. All right, so what we want to do now is set up our connection to our mailbox. So you can choose your mailbox, click on add, and it'll basically ask you where do you want to connect it to, SMTP or Gmail. Um, let's go into our folders that we want to connect up to. So let's just connect up to anything in inbox. 
and that's it over there and I think what we need to do is yep so we can basically fill in all those details if you'd like you can scroll down and do you want to mark the message as red when you've done it you just say no and what we can do is click OK um, it'll give you any warnings or any messages that um, you're required to fill in right now it's going to ask you for some options here which one do you want to select uh, you can say from now on choosing a time range or every single email just note that obviously every single email that comes through if you're getting a large number it's obviously going to use up tokens um, so i'll just start with the first email that i want to choose so these are all the emails that i've got in the mailbox at the moment and we'll select that hello email that i just showed you all right, what we're going to do now is add another module and this is where we're going to start adding the vertex ai module all right so let's just type in vertex and you will see a thing they called google vertex ai gemini and it's verified that's the one that you want to use all right this is the um, official integration with google vertex ai and make all right what we're going to do now is um, choose the type of action that we would like so you as you can see you can do analyze images you can create a chat prompt you can create a chat prompt with bison or gemini or you can create a text prompt um, we're going to basically do a chat prompt over here and it's ultimately going to give us the window to try and set and configure it all right so what we need to do is ultimately connect up to our uh, Gemini and Verdex environment. So if you haven't already got a Google Cloud Platform environment, you need to go and create one. Links will be in the description. All right, so, and we are going to basically pop in our connection over here. And we're gonna call it My Gemini. Um, that's the, basically, just so we can identify the connection name. If you've got multiple connections, you can do that. We can just go sign up with Google. All right, so sign up to your Google Cloud Platform using the email address or the account that you've used to create it. Okay, so once we've got the connection set up, it'll automatically refresh and you can select your Google Cloud project. All right, if you um, need help creating a project, have a look at my other videos down in the links below. All right, we're gonna just select the My Gemini because that's my main project that I use. And uh, you can keep the region as Iowa, that's fine. And now you can select the um, large language model that you wanna use. I'm gonna use the Gemini 1.5 Flash because uh, what we're doing here doesn't really need vision or it doesn't really need anything more significant than that. All right, here's where the real important part comes in. So what we need to do is we need to take the input from the email and pass it to Gemini and do some prompting on it to create an output. All right, so what we're gonna do is look at the message and the rule and the user. So the user is going to be um, the, the default and we're gonna pop in a message content. All right, so that's my prompt. So using this, and then it's basically a selection of the um, data and information from the email. So think about it, a chain of events. So there's information coming from the email, it's on the right-hand side and you basically pop in your prompt and you wrap wrap your prompt and your data into that uh, context. All right, so using this, and then it's basically text content from the email, uh, create some HTML code response in the output and create a response that's got headings, etc. <clears throat> what you would do is basically look on the right-hand pane over here for all the inputs that are available to you that you can pass to Gemini. Once you're happy with the prompt, you can have a look at any advanced settings over there. You can set your temperature, um, but we'll leave all of this for the time being. So we basically pass the email to Vertex. We don't want to add another module now. So let's, uh, so whatever Vertex is performed and done, we want to now pass that on to our uh, next step, which is really about sending another email. So let's click on the little plus. All right, and what we want to do now is select email. And what we want to do is, um, let's just scroll down over here and look over here, send an email or send an email to a team member. All right, so we don't want to send an email directly to the person that sent it to us. We want to send it to ourselves first so we can vet it and check it and then uh, modify it accordingly and then we can send it off so let's send it to an email um, let's just send it to ourselves so info at first for data that's cool all right the subject is going to be whatever the original subject is so you can see um, what 
is on the left hand side yeah but i'm just going to pop in a new request and let's grab the original subject from the email line over there all right in context this is going to be the output of what gemini has produced for us so google vertex has created a response as you can see there's two objects or properties that you can drag across so we can just drag the response that's come through from gemini all right, and now what we want to do is just give this a bit of a test run. So in order to test it, uh, just to make sure it works, you can right click on it and you can say run single modules or you can choose where to start. But what we're going to do is just click on the run once because we've already selected the email message that we want to start with. Um, we now can just give it a test run. So let's just click on run. Um, it'll take a few seconds. So it's going to go scan the emails. <coughs> it's going to pass it off to Vertex. And it's ultimately then going to send an email back out. All right, so you'll know that it's completed when you see the little speech bubble. Click on the magnifying glass to ultimately see what details and what information has been created. And you can start looking at some of the properties that have been um, popped in. All right, so you can see that it's picked up the right email. It's got all the information and the original email message over here. All right, and that's basically what's going to be passed through to Gemini. All right, so let's go into the Vertex AI one, and uh, you can have a look over here at the inputs, so what, what came in. So just to always check and verify, so here's the input exactly as we expected. That's the email content, and um, you can basically look to start debugging that if you did need to. And here's your output, and here's your text response. So we asked it to create an HTML type of output, and there is your HTML output generated beautifully by Gemini Flash. So let's go see if it actually created it. There we go. All right, so make new request, and that's exactly what we've created. And we asked it to have a summary as a header, and here's the summary. Here's a recommended response, and it's basically typed up the email for us. All I need to do is go and have a look at it and um, add anything or do anything that I'd like and um, ultimately send it on back to the person. Right, so we can now schedule going. All right, uh, so, and there's quite a few um, options and things that you can work with. So let's save it up, make this a bit easier to read. So let's go call it integration email, Google Vertex AI demo on the top over here. Yep, what we can do now is just go into scenarios and we can see our new scenarios there. The switch has been turned on. You can turn it off. You can clone it and um, start working with um, working with that in your environment. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy this, like, subscribe and um, keep watching for more.